President Lyndon Johnson launched the Hispanic Heritage Celebration and President Ronald Reagan expanded it to a full month. Recognition of the increasing impact of Latinos in the U.S. In Oklahoma, the Hispanic population is growing and becoming more engaged, due in large part to a media industry targeted to meet the Latino community's wants and needs. Hispanic television, newspapers and radio are a growth industry in Oklahoma. By most standards, a young industry that largely began just 15 years ago is now spreading across the state, providing entertainment, news and public affairs to an expanding community. David Castillo is president of the Greater Oklahoma City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Well, it's, it's more and more important as, as, as the community grows. The community is incredible. I mean, it's growing tremendously. You know, we have 347,000 Latinos in Oklahoma. Franco Cervales came to the United States at the age of 15 from Ecuador as part of a group of entertainers. Once here, he was determined to stay put. I wasn't to, about to go back. I, I, I had to learn English and I wanted to uh, see New York. I wanted to see America. So I took advantage that they brought me here and I, I would not return. Savalos believed America was truly the land of dreams and he knew hard work would pay off in the end. I roamed the streets of New York. I slept on, in subways. I finally got a job at a factory. I paid my dues. I carpet tunnel, I lifted up things, I put garments, but finally I got a break. I learned English. Franco Savalas earned two master's degrees and found himself in Oklahoma. Despite his education, he could not get a job teaching, so with the help of his son, he launched into the newspaper business. I found a Polaroid in my attic. My son had an old computer. I told him, teach me how to open it. And I started gluing. I saw a guy gluing letters. I would glue, make each ad glue, gluing letters, gluing pictures to make the ad. Everything glue. And I started messing up with the computer. 16 years later, Franco and his family publish a monthly newspaper that is updated weekly online and is now getting more than 50,000 views a day. Which is over two million and a half a year. A year. That's a lot of people to reach. That's a dream. Only in America, with no knowledge, no money, nothing, you can make it. I made the American dream. Armando Rubio came to Oklahoma in the mid-1980s to work at the now-closed General Motors assembly plant. In 1998, he joined the staff of a fledgling Latino FM radio station owned by Tyler Media. Fifteen years later, KTUZ is now showing up in the ratings among people of all ethnic backgrounds. We were the number one station, 18 to 35, regardless of race or anything, of, of, of language. We were the number one. Franco and Armando both see their media outlets as having a special mission. Uh, every week I help somebody, and that's what it's about, helping people. And saying, speaking up without fear. But thank God you can do that in America. We keep informed the community about the events in Oklahoma City. It's very important to us. It's not just music. It helped so many Hispanic people, so many families, and that's what it's all about. Armando Rubio is now general manager of four Latino television stations, Telemundo and Univision outlets in Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Part of his radio and television station's mission is to help educate immigrants so they understand what is required of them in the U.S. We need to learn how to speak English. We need to go back to school. We need to do a lot of stuff that, that uh, uh, educate ourselves about the system. Things that are as basic as using a seat belt. And if you don't do that, you're going to get in trouble. And if you, if you don't put a seat belt on your kids in the back seat, they might even take it away, the Department of Human Services. So, you know, you need to educate this community. Telemundo and Univision are promoting a program by the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce that seeks new leaders from the Hispanic community and teaches them important lessons about life in Oklahoma. When they're talking about government, they're going to take them over to the, to the uh, uh, capital over there and they're going to show them exactly how, what the process when somebody's going to uh, put a, 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 try to pass a new law, how is it, what is the process, how does that take place? 
And Rubio knows politics is growing in importance to his community and to politicians who want their votes. It's going to happen here in Oklahoma sooner or later. The only problem is the, the, the politicians that they won't see Hispanic as a grow community, that's, that's the one they're going to have problem because it's the same thing with media. A lot of people didn't think the Hispanic media was not going to work here, and we show them different. An estimated 90% of Oklahoma's Latino population is from Mexico, but David Castillo knows the numbers are growing in part because many have begun families, and much of the ongoing immigration is now coming from other parts of Latin and South America. He thinks the total may be greater than 400,000. But then we have a big Guatemalan community as well, uh, and then we have uh, Colombians and Venezuelans, and so we have, we have a, a melting pot in the Latino community as well, as well as the whole community as a whole. Castillo estimates the Latino buying power in Oklahoma is now approaching $6 billion a year. Franco Savalos says that means a stronger economy and a better state. We have enriched Oklahoma. O Oklahoma now is a different place. People are more open-minded, fr friendlier. Latinos' impact on Oklahoma's economy, culture, and political life is unmistakable. The state's largest public school system is now made up of 46% Latino students. The better education for our community, everybody in general, the state will be a better state. We'll collect more taxes, we'll have more companies coming in because we have better uh, students, leadership, uh, graduate from college. That's our goal. Hispanic media have a bright future in Oklahoma, and the trend has gone national, with Fox creating a new Spanish network and ABC broadcasting Good Morning America in English and Spanish.